Fucking sell a photography, motherfucker. Who's in a photography, motherfucker? Hey. Canyon. Bump, 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 bump. had photography in her system. Wham. Whammy. How to lose friends and alienate people. <laughs>
is the last time I ate a Slim Jim before I stream. Huh. <laughs> I'm kidding. No Slim Jim consumption here. Not today, Junior. Not today. Nope. Fan blowing, AC going, photography growing. Okay, the beaches of Hyrule will not shoot themselves. You know what I mean? Beaches, islands. Um, well, we're in New Rock, yeah, let's fucking rock it. Rocket. Hello, all. Oh, welcome to the dark room. I am Paul Mosey Hinton, the dude in the dark room, and it is Thursday, June 23rd, which makes it a Triforce Thursday here in the dark room. And that means we're going to be doing some photography in Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's now officially summer, and as I've been saying on our past streams, as soon as summer rolls around, we're going to do some cool beach type photography we're going to stick to the coasts of hyrule photographing what we can find uh, at the beaches and at the uh, uh at the in the islands on the islands around the islands uh the beach towns that we can we can photograph we're gonna be doing all that kind of fun stuff for the remainder of the summer uh, or at least we'll see how far we can get with with only that kind of that kind of thing. I don't know how long it'll take us to get through all the all the coastal areas of the game. It might uh, might be quicker than I think. Um and maybe we'll have to calculate something else to 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 shoot. I don't know. Um either way, we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. Um I hope everybody's well. Hope you're ready to have some fun and see some photography go down in Hyrule. Um definitely encourage shooting on your own in your game of choice whilst I shoot here definitely earning some bonus points if you get uh, get a game going that you're photographing in double bonus points if you're actually going to be shooting in Zelda Breath of the Wild um, and if you do take any cool photos while we are streaming or off the stream really doesn't matter uh, we got a pretty sweet discord community uh, that would very much appreciate the work that you do. And I would love to see what kind of photography everyone else is cooking up um, out there. Uh, we also have a great place for real life photography. We do real photography stuff here in our little darkroom studio as well. So uh, we got a little bit of that going on, on on there. And if you want to share your real photos, awesome as well. Uh, also, let me know what kind of games you take pictures in. I'd be very interested to know what people's favorite game to photograph in would be. Uh, my two current favorites are obviously Zelda Breath of the Wild and Fallout 76. We're having a lot of fun shooting in those two games. Um, and I got a lot, lot more on the way. Uh, I think I, I think I'd said I promised Pokemon Snap as our next uh, game we were going to play. And they did release it for uh, Switch, so it'll make it a lot easier than having to uh, use an uh, old N64 and to go through the house, it'd be multiple different adapters that would have to be going to get this uh, broadcast. Probably wouldn't be that complicated. And I do know that my brother actually also had, had just recently got 
um, an N64 uh, with an upgraded uh, HDMI port or an HDMI port added to it. Um, and he told me I could borrow it. Thank you, my brother, um, if I want to do any N64 broadcasting, um, which we might do at some point. I also wanted to do Zelda Majora's Mask as a very, very short um, photography game. There's like a very small amount of photography in that game. Uh, and that's one of the games that we're going to do photography in Zelda Majora's Mask Video 4. Uh, one of the plans, uh, very very easy uh, explanation of the ins and outs of photography in that game. But we haven't really played it. I haven't played that that for a very long time, and it might be maybe there's more uh, in there than than I remember. We're gonna we're gonna do it on the stream and find out at some point. Um, and if you want to watch any of these previous photographic adventures, uh, check out our YouTube page. You got a lot of. Uh, past streams up there, uh, along with what will be the place for those videos I was just talking about, the photography in Zelda Majora's Mask, photography in Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, we're building those videos every time we stream. We're working on what we want to say uh, and what we do and don't like about the photography in this game. So check those out if you would like for your viewing pleasure. Uh, I think that's about it. I think I just want to kind of hop in and start start taking a dip in this in these beaches, start cruising the beaches and uh, looking for photographic possibilities. Uh, I'm not sure where exactly we're gonna start yet, so that'll be our first choice. Um, and then of course we're gonna have to do a review of what we got last time, which is always a very very long process. So let's just jump in and do it. Um, Again, sit back, relax, take a load off, um, and let's let's have some fun. You deserve to, you deserve to have fun out there. So let's just let's just relax and have some fun. Uh, I think I'm still in the exact same spot we were at when we left off last time, which is right here in the hot springs, right next to uh, Gut Check Rock. Uh, we were battling that Henox. Which I was pretty stoked. We got some pretty cool stuff. I had some, I had some pretty close, um, I had some very close calls to some real great shots, um, but uh, nothing, nothing, nothing perfect. Nothing like that great. I want to say we got so close to getting uh, that shot of the dragon with the moon and the Henox. Kind of fucked it up though a little bit. Uh, I'm still proud of some of the shots we got, but let's just do a quick review. That's what we do here on the stream. Uh, we're going to have to do some serious cleaning out at some point of a lot of these shots. I got to keep, I got to take note of which ones that I think I got, I got a good idea which ones I can get rid of or which ones I am not as excited about. Um, but event eventually we'll go back. I'm gonna stick with stick with the current selection um, that we have saved from the previous streams, and then we'll we'll go back at at some point if we need to make room. We can always come back in and delete some of these. I can tell. I kind of know which ones I would I would go with first. Um. So we'll we'll see we'll see about that. But let's stick with what we got from last time. Okay, so. Uh, last time we adventured up Death Mountain to the peak. We were trying to see what we could find on the trail all the way up Death Mountain. Uh, and unfortunately, really, the trail itself, not much was happening. We only got this one Moblin uh, on the trail, or at least took one photo of this mo, or took a shot, took a couple shots of this Moblin. I think it's, it is pretty cool. I don't mind. I think it's a pretty sweet shot. Um, it's just nothing that special. I definitely like this first one over the second one. Uh, there's too much negative space above Death Mountain, uh, in my opinion. Whereas here, uh, Death Mountain is filling uh, closer to the top of the frame. Uh, and we wanted that element to dominate the image along with the Moblin, uh, who's looking really cool posing with his giant hammer. I do wish the hammer wasn't cropped out and maybe his horn was held in the frame it doesn't bother me that much uh not as much as like when some other parts of the enemy's bodies are are, are 
just cropped a little bit out. Um, here, it doesn't ruin the view of that enemy. And in some cases, it actually emphasizes the size of the enemy to completely fill uh, the frame with them, in my opinion. Um, and so here, it's, it doesn't bother me as much. And having that little bit of his horn cropped out just doesn't it doesn't actually ruin the image in my opinion at all and the hammer as well you can still tell that that's a hammer um in his in his hand so i don't mind slight crop to it um i think what i was trying to correct in the second picture was cropping maybe a little bit of that cannon out of that bottom right corner i'm probably not going to keep either of these though so let's not spend too much time talking about them definitely the second one though delete that um I really wish we got this shot of the moon uh, setting over the hills here, just above uh, Hyrule Castle and the greater uh, central Hyrule area with the uh, uh, Divine Beast's laser beam shooting down on it. Uh, probably, this is actually probably one of the... I mean, this is, is maybe the only... Uh, divine beast shot we've really had and we're gonna prop maybe go back and shoot this exact try to get this exact thing again maybe at some point uh, but then also we'll travel around maybe try to get some of those other divine beasts uh, photographed if if it fits with what we want to get in that particular stream i don't know if uh i don't know if we'll get around to that we'll see um, either way, I'll delete this shot because it, it, I think I only kept it to remind myself the position of the moon when it was setting in this particular scene because I was trying to determine if the moon is shifting its position in the sky uh, over time or if it was sticking in, in the same exact place every day. Uh, and I think I learned that there might not be any rhyme or reason other than it pops up uh, I think it's dependent on where you're facing at the moment of its rise, but I also could be completely wrong about that. We haven't done too many scientific tests with this kind of shit, so this is probably all nonsense. Uh, one thing I'll point out about this image, I do wish, with, with this type of composition, I actually wouldn't have minded having a little bit of a canted angle uh, because we the, mo the majority of the interesting portion of this frame would have fit better with a slight tilt uh, to the frame. Uh, so uh, I wish I could do that, but we can't do that. Uh, you can only stick with, you can only be perfectly level. Uh, no way to uh, to to uh, shift the camera in that, in that fashion. That's actually one thing we could probably talk about uh, when we do our full review of this game, is, is how much we would want to make maybe some slight more adjustments to the image uh, than we can. It's a very simple shooting system. There's no focus uh, setting. There's no exposure setting. I have really no ability to change any of the parameters um, while we are shooting. So uh, limited in our choices. But anyway, let's delete that. Um, and then we got this. I love this little cute shot of these little ostriches. They're just... They're just loving each other, maybe. I'm going to consider them a couple, and they look really cute. Um, standing in front of this little uh, river of lava next to the lava fall. I wish I would have panned. I shot two of these, and I saved this one. Um, I actually wish, and I think on, on the last one, I had panned to the left a little bit more. But I actually wish I had panned to the right instead and gotten more of the lava fall. Um... But uh, these guys shifted around, and we lost that beautiful composition of both of them standing right next to each other. I thought it looked kind of romantic. Um, ostriches on top of Death Mountain. Uh, what are these called? Something, something ostrich. Something kind of ostrich. Trying, I'm trying my best to remember all the names, but it's never gonna. It's probably never gonna happen. Um, Elden Ostrich, is that what they're called? Elden Ostrich? Might have been, might be. Elden Ostrich, boom. Okay, makes sense, because they're in Elden Canyon, and it's Elden Ostrich. Uh, it, 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 this isn't the best shot. I do, I do really think it's cute, but other than that, I mean, it's, it's, eh, let's delete that. Um, 
and then we then we uh, entered our our battle with the Hinox, the battle of gut check rock hot springs, and we got some great shots, dude. Some of these shots are pretty nice. Um, but it wasn't until this this dragon popped up that it, it felt really special for a moment. Um, although I honestly I don't feel like we got. I don't feel like we really got a perfect shot of all three of these elements together. This shot actually could have been pretty cool had um, had the dragon been fully in the frame. And there's our obligatory self-portrait. We can delete this because we never save our, our self-portraits. Although sometimes maybe we will one day, but um, not today, Junior. Um, trying to decide if I'm going to want to keep any of these dragon ones. This one would have been really cool. This pose that the Hinox made here, uh, pretty unique. I, I, I only saw him do this once, and this was the only time. And we, we, we had a, just a very limited amount of time to shoot this. He did it very fast. Um, and he raised his fist up, and he blocked, of course, blocked a little bit of the, of the dragon. Uh, which dragon is this? That's another good question. Uh, I just remember all those suckers' names, but I don't. Uh, Din Rawl. Din motherfucking Rawl, dude. Look at that Maldugo shot I have. Wow. <laughs> uh, it's also a bad shot of Din Rawl. I do try, as we are photographing on the stream, one cool challenge is to get better photos of whatever creature it is that we have in front of our camera, in front of our Sheikah Slate. Um, and get a better photo for this compendium. It's kind. Of, it's just a fun little challenge. I actually had a lot of fun filling in, uh, filling in a lot of these. And I think these are all these ones that are ex. Those are part of whatever expansion. Uh, enemies added to, with the expansions, and those I did not capture yet. Because we haven't, I haven't done any of that content. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do some of that here on the stream. Perhaps I don't know. Uh, this is a shot that we definitely got on the stream. That's a great shot of the goblin throwing a golden goblin, golden style, golden boke goblin. I probably been give, dude. I probably say the wrong name for enemies all the time. This is one that we took on the stream. That's for sure. I think we got this one on the stream. Silver boke boke goblin on fire. Um. And which other one did I notice that I kind of liked as a shot that we got on the stream? This one we got on the stream. Love that shot of the fire breath. Lazolfos guarding the shrine. Um, but that's it. That's just another fun little challenge. This is, oh, what a great composition on that white main line all right there. Um, I think this golden line all shot we took on the stream. This one of the guardian took on the stream guardian stalker. Uh, always looking out always looking out for that type of shot although we do also have to compose in a completely different way to maintain the framing that it needs for the compendium uh so when we're when we're when we're doing that uh it can s uh, sacrifice composition for the full frame and so it's a, maybe it's a little difficult although sometimes we we are you know specifically trying to get that shot um anyway uh that's a pointless pointless expansion oh you on it already bro come on man it's only 8 p.m um yeah i don't it's gonna be tough gonna be tough to decide between these okay so let's just get rid of the ones that we like definitely know we're not gonna want so let's go start from the beginning of that little battle um this sunset shot eh I mean, I'm only going to want to keep maybe one of these, maybe. So I know it's going to be uh, one of the images with the moon in the frame. The sunset shot. Wow, it does look gorgeous. The color is great. Um, the landscape looks cool around the Hinox. Uh, Hinox pose is great. Got a little bit of those hot springs, which is part, part of what we were trying to include in the composition. Uh, but yeah, no, it just uh, compared to the moon shots, I'm always gonna want. I'm always gonna want to keep these some night shots, something cool with the moon going on, um, or something at night generally. 
Uh, these are pretty. This is I really do like this shot with uh, Death Mountain Peak in the background. We were that was kind of the first composition that we that we wanted to get. Uh, but uh, then when the moon popped up on the opposite side, I think I was anticipating it to pop up on this side because that's where it had popped up the night before. At least I, I'm pretty sure that's where the direction it had popped up. It had risen the night before, but um, that didn't seem to be the case. It seemed to rise completely opposite, uh, which was interesting. Interesting to note. Uh, definitely between these two of... Death Mountain and the Hina. I'm definitely going to take the second one where uh, Death Mountain's fully held in the frame right there. Whereas here, it's, it's just getting cropped a little bit. The Hinox looks better in the second shot, too. Um, same. Sh these two shots are basically the same. I like this first one because the Hinox's pose is much more uh, menacing, in my opinion. Uh, this one, he's just kind of got his arms down all lazy, but this one, he's got his arms up and his hands... Like he's ready to grab. Whereas here he's just taking a leisurely stroll. Um, the moon obviously right behind him looking great. Love that shot. This is a potential keeper. Moons over my Hinox. Uh, not, this one's not going to be good. There's like some foreground nonsense. His, he's cropped at the knee. Um, I don't like his height in the frame. Actually makes him look a little small because of how much headroom we gave him uh that gnarled tree we were trying to include some of those gnarled trees would look which look great those twisted uh beautiful looking trees but um i don't think that really worked so not that one um did i not keep Maybe I didn't keep the first shot of the dragon that we got. I think it was between these two. Kind of bummed I didn't save the first one we took, but whatever. Um, in the moment, I have to delete. I have to delete stuff in the moment because it's. Uh, it is a little. Um, it's like a little. Uh, a little difficult to choose, you know, when we have to delete stuff with the camera roll. When we're in battle, it's very difficult to choose which ones we like and we don't. And I, I, I do not want to have to edit while we are shooting, but it's a, it's a necessity because of how much limited space we have, how limited our space is here. Unfortunate, uh, but it's true. Um, so anyway, that I did. I definitely. It looks like I deleted the first one that we noticed the dragon in because uh, it wasn't that great. I mean, again, none of these. I, I, I do. I, I. I don't think these are terrible. Some of them. Some of them are all right. There's not enough. Like I wish again, if Death Mountain was like over the Hinox's shoulder somewhere. You could see the peak of Death Mountain. It, it, it would fill in that void of the sky so much more. He's standing in front of some mountain. He's standing in front of what would be, I don't know, whatever those mountains are across the ravine there. I don't know what those, those do not have names. Um, the North Hyrule, North, North end of Hyrule Mountain Range. Places you cannot go. Interesting. They built all that topography. But then they just can't go over there. Should be able to go like right here. It'd be cool if a little secret zone or something. Or some special zone. Where you can like get across. You have to like fly across. And then climb up. Maybe it's some really difficult rock to climb. But that's the only way you can do it. Like you have to have... Uh, a bunch of stamina replenishment food or something. That'd be kind of cool. Anyway, I wish there was some kind of other element in the frame, and it just kind of bums me out that it just feels... The backdrop feels very empty. It feels very two-dimensional. Um, I, I have said before, I do really enjoy it. I prefer it. Uh, to I prefer most images that we take to have a good 
foreground, middle ground, and background uh, to keep it as interesting as possible. Um, this close-up is kind of bullshit. Composition really sucks. I should have stayed. I panned really far to the right, and if I had panned to the left, kept it panned to the left a little bit, the moon would have remained in the frame. Unfortunately, the moon was getting very high in the sky when we noticed the dragon, and that definitely took away from our uh, compositional choices because uh, then we had to get from to a low perspective to shoot up and include the moon in the frame. Um, and a lot of these have really strange feeling composition because I'm trying to hold all those elements within the frame together. Um, I definitely, if it's okay, if it's going to be just the Hinox at night, it's not going to be this one of Death Mountain and him walking through the uh, hot spring, even though it's a cool shot. Um, it's not going to be this one here again. So much negative space, especially in the top right quadrant of the sky and uh, across the top 10% of the frame. There's just nothing there. I could have zoomed in quite a bit and held everything I would want in the frame uh, to tell the story we want to we tell. He knocks bathing in the hot springs at night under the moonlight. Like that would be that would be the story we're trying to tell here. Um, and it, it's 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 unnecessary to have all that peripheral information. So we'll delete that. Um, whereas this one this one feels great. Although there is no hot spring in this shot. That is the one disappointment uh, of most of most of those shots after that point. Actually, unfortunately, we did not include or we did not get. Uh, we did not get the water in the frame at all. This one we had, we were close. This one was very close. He's standing in those hot springs, but then the moon was so high again, I had to tilt up and we ended up excluding, um, why's my cable hanging down? Watch your cable management, bro. What are you doing? Um, I was, I was sacrificing my composition to retain all the useful elements in the frame. And that kind of fucked me over because we lost his legs in the hot spring. Um, this is probably not the worst example. Like, he's cropped mid-shin, which isn't too bad because we can still see his knees. Um, that's okay. It's okay. Um... Typically, it is it is said to not crop at a joint. That is that is like the that is the the rule compositional rule with cropping limbs out of a frame. Um, it is said that cropping at a limb, or I mean at a joint, is bad. Uh, but if you crop mid limb, uh, so those joints are still visible, it it's it's a lot it's a lot more uh, pleasing to look at. I didn't make up that rule. That's just what they say. So don't blame me. Um, so let's just delete that shot for that reason. I mean, let's just delete that shot. We have enough reason there. This one, again, very shit composition just to try to get that drag in the frame. Kind of a bummer because, again, maybe the moon in there, if I would kept it panned uh, further to the left, maybe this could have been interesting. Also, would have loved a shot of the dragon going across the sky. Mark my words, that is going to be a shot we try to get um, I would very much love that. I would very much love a uh, uh, dragon crossing the sky, just the front portion of their uh, of their head, and maybe front claws perfectly silhouetted against the, the moon. That would be absolutely gorgeous. Not sure how possible that is. I don't know if they fly. I mean, of course, it's got to be possible. It's just the chances of being at the right vantage point when the moon is in the right position and the dragon is flying at the same time that might be kind of difficult so um so we'll see that's all we shall see if we can get that that's just I, I would like to keep that shot in mind have that visualized in my head so that when the time comes we already have uh, a general idea of how we want to look and we can just snap to it and take that shot um catch those decisive moments uh, so no on that one. Uh, this shot actually could have been real cool had I tilted down a little bit. He was doing his little like licking of his of his lips thing as he's staring at me because he wants to eat me. Um, 
but we but we cropped him like at his mouth and if i had held his mouth in the frame i think this could have been a pretty interesting shot i know i have enough headroom on there to have tilted down and then also grabbed uh his entire face would have been great he was moving around really quick during these little poses that he does um because that could have been that could have been gorgeous but for the reason of him being cropped in a weird way maybe i'll just delete it yeah i don't really i'm not a big fan that's eh, fine okay delete that one um this one again also could have been really cool but he blocked he blocked a little bit of din Rawl. so no i'll say no on that one i'm not a big fan of that composition or it just looks weird uh I guess this shot might be the best. Honestly, I really don't really like any of those. Um, they just don't feel. They just don't feel great. They just. Feel, it just feels like three different elements put into the frame against a sky backdrop. You know, like there's not. That's why you really need that. That some sort of other geographical information in there again a mountainside some cliffs i can like see a bit of the cliffs i mean the hinox is kind of blocking uh that mountain range behind so it it we we lost we lost it with him it just feels it just feels so empty and so minimalist and not a good way Maybe. God, again, this one also could have been real cool had had the dragon been fully in the frame. I'll say no on this one. He's cropped in a weird way. The Hinox is cropped in a weird way. The moon is it doesn't even look that good because it's out of focus and it uh, it's kind of losing a little bit of its detail, uh, blown out just a tiny bit. Um, its placement in the sky there feels kind of strange in my opinion, and. Dinral is cropped out to shit, so no on that one. Um, these three are relatively similar, and they all feel similarly shitty, in my opinion, but I kind of want to keep one of them, maybe? I really don't like any of them. I don't like the way his arm... See, like, here we're cropping him, like, almost at his wrists, and that feels kind of weird to me. Here, I mean, this is probably the closest to a decent shot. I kind of like that he's, like, kind of looking at the moon. I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't save any of those. Maybe I'll just save this one Hinox with the moon. I think that, I mean, this is the shot. This was originally a shot we were really going for while we were shooting there. So, um, keeping that makes sense. These ones feel weird again because we had we did not anticipate uh, the dragon. We didn't anticipate the moon coming from that direction. And then I was scrambling to try to fit it all into the frame, um, and I I, I think I failed. Yeah, I'll save that one. Yeah, I don't think any of the, I don't think any of these ones with the all three of them in the frame are gonna be are gonna be that great. I'm just like I'm seeing it's just not. I think it also didn't roll. It's so tiny up there, you know. It's hard to tell what you're looking at. It's like is that like a little worm? Is that like a, a little a little worm or something? So maybe yeah, let's just delete all those. Let's just delete all of them, man. Like, I'm trying to save it because it, 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 I know that it was a kind of a, a trifecta of elements that would look really cool had they been composed properly together. But um, we could maybe come back and get that. I mean, we might be able to come back and get that shot at another date. Have we Have we the, uh, the moxie? God, I'm yawning a lot, man. Get me a coffee. How about some water? No coffee. No no caffeine past midday. To quote Simon Pegg from 
Uh, hot fuzz. So yeah, no, let's just not keep any of these. Yeah, we're gonna need to clear a lot of ro room off our roll anyway. Um, it is, it is hard to delete them, but that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I like this one though of the the porch with the Hinox with the moon over his shoulder. Uh, the moon is high in the sky, but he is still dominating the frame, and he is uh, uh, even higher. His his shoulders reach above the moon, which emphasizes his size. I think. Um, probably i could have probably tilted down a little tiny bit maybe zoomed in like a little tiny bit again having him fill had had he almost been uh completely at the top of the frame maybe with like a tiny little slice of space between uh, at top of the frame and the top of his shoulders maybe that could have been a cool shot uh or an even better shot um but anyway we'll keep it we'll keep this one for now how much room do we have on our roll we got we got twenty two shots. That's a good number, isn't it? So let's stick with that. Um, I should heal up. We also are gonna need. Let's also really quickly before we get to the real nitty gritty. I want to go cook some foods. We have some fairies, so we ain't gonna die if we take fatal damage, but. Um, as you can see, I'm only I only have one full recovery meal, couple uh, random meals that I probably won't even keep for very long, and then only one stamina meal. So we want uh, we're gonna want some defense buff, some uh, damage buff, and uh, some health replenishment, maybe some stamina stamina replenishment as well. Uh, and I happen to know... Actually, let's go to the beach to do that. Let's not... Yeah, we're going to go to this little star. I'm trying to remember those stars. Mark things with the stars when I know I'm going to want to go there. Um, so the whole coast, the whole the whole reason I was saying we're going to be doing, like I said, summertime photography, the whole area that we're going to visit is going to be this whole coastal side of the map. We're going to check out all the islands. We're going to go shoot all these islands. We're going to go to this island, Tingle. Go to Tingle Island, shoot on Tingle Island. Um, spool bite. Let's go check out what that is. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll mess around on all this. Is Winter Island. Winter. Winter Island. Uh, definitely going to be going to Aventide Island. I loved, absolutely loved this uh, shrine and doing that quest here. Probably one of my favorite, um, my favorite moments in this game, to be honest. Absolutely loved that. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe the first thing we'll do... Because we had already we had already been trying. We went to we went to this shrine um, to get a good shot of Aventide Island, maybe. Um, so maybe that's what we'll do. And it didn't work out because we, we, uh, we just ended up shooting a cool shot of the shrine itself. But I would love to go back and maybe wait out uh, the day night cycle here and try to get a good shot um, of Aventide Island, maybe at sunset or sunrise, whatever. Like I said, maybe we check out check it out throughout the entire night day cycle. That might be kind of fun. Uh, we like to sit around and wait for the light. Light moves fast, but sometimes you gotta wait for it. You can quote me on that one. That is that is that is that is my quote, man. Um, so yeah, let's go to somewhere where we know we can cook some food, and then I'm gonna go do that around some sort of fun, fun area near the beach, of course. Um, see, we can go shoot all up in Lanairu Bay one day. We got a whole can of, whole can of worms to open up, which is the coastal areas of this game. Um, I love the, I love all the coastal villages, Loreline Village, um, what other village? Isn't there two? Maybe there's only the one. Am I being crazy? Could have sworn there was like two. What am I thinking of? Uh, anyway, Loreline Village is cool. What's the other one? I swear there's one more little coastal city. Coastal town, but uh, maybe I'm thinking of Ateno because it's like right above... 
Potato Beach. I don't know. I don't know. Again, we're gonna we're gonna go figure this stuff out. I've not I haven't adventured through all these areas for a long time. Haran Lagoon. That'll be fun to go shoot. I farted once on the set of Blue Lagoon. <laughs> Talus Plateau. There's probably Talus up there. Maybe we'll go shoot him over the overlooking the water. I gotta play I gotta write some lists down of what we wanna do over the summer, man. Uh but Let's do, like I said, let's go, let's just go, we'll go scout. I don't want to shoot Loreline Village right now because I think that's, that's like a full day by itself. And I was thinking maybe we can go, like maybe we'll start, maybe we can start down here. Well, like I said, first I want to start on this promontory uh, and shoot maybe a Ventide Island. Since, I, since we already started doing that. Um, and that's a good scouting location. So let's go to Loreline. We'll go to Loreline Village, scope it out, do some cooking there. And uh, can I travel to the village or do you have to go? You have to go to the shrines. Um, we'll cook some food at the village to get into our, our beach vibe. You might have noticed I'm wearing a little Hawaiian shirt. To get into the summer beach vibe that it will that we will be in the remainder of the summer, you know. Yeah. Ooh. You know what I didn't do is I didn't plug in my Ethernet. Hang on, I want to do that really quick so that we're not. I hope it doesn't crash my. Hope it doesn't crash my game. Okay. Okay. If I forget to plug in, well, it didn't crash or anything. I don't know why it would have, but uh, I wouldn't have been surprised if it did. Put it that way. Uh, I'm always wondering how much less stable the the stream is when I don't plug that in, or if it makes any difference at all. Because I've gone through whole streams and then realized, oh shit. I've been on Wi-Fi this whole time. Whoops. Um, but it, it, it said it was we were excellent. It said excellent. It said zang. So I, I don't know. I don't know why I worry about it. But at the same time, it's like I know that the Ethernet's going to be faster. so And more secure. More stable. More secure. Um, I am secure. Okay, let's eat some of these up just to replenish our health. I want to get rid of these because we want room. We want room for... Uh, we want room for uh, all these other foods that we're going to have. Why is the audio? The audio seems really low, doesn't it? Cha cha. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Let me just do something loud in the game. Let me go up. Dude, listen to that music, dude. Uh, just blow something up. It's pretty good. This audio sound pretty good. Oh, kicking the ball. Before I go a little bit higher, maybe. Ch 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 I I must sound okay. Um, anyway, if the audio sucks, let me know. God damn it. Let me turn this down a little bit. 13. Check, 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 check. Okay, I think we're okay. I feel like everything on my streams is like a little loud. So, I mean, just look at this shirt. <laughs> uh, bazinga. Okay, uh, where can we cook? Oh, look at this. Yeah, we're gonna have fun shooting here at some point. I don't want to do. I don't want to do it right now, though. I just don't. Shoot the bomb. Um. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of. Why do I keep doing that? Stop it. Stop. 
Stop it. Blow up the bomb and then leave it. God. Diamond. It always takes me a second to get like back into the controls of this game. Because um, I won't play for a week and then I come back in. Yeah, look at that village. This is going to be absolutely gorgeous. And this is the summer vibe we want, man. Palm trees and beach, man. Palm trees and beaches. And where can we cook food? Yeah, dude. Into this music. I got to download this song for my, my summer vibes. Uh summer vibes playlist palm fruits i'll take some palm fruit what's up islander oh that's a good portrait <laughs> stoked on that let's save that for now why not? why not dude we said not we said we weren't gonna shoot here but i know it's like kind of, oh wait let's do this too oh wait no i can't Not the right one. I need to go to the. Um, I did want to change my uh, my upgrade from full hearts. I want full stamina. I think that's. I believe that to be a better uh, a better way about going to things. Because I, I feel like I run out. It's more annoying to run out of the stamina. Uh, and it's easier to to uh, replenish and increase the hearts to the max heart level. I mean, I guess it's kind of, it's kind of the same. It just doesn't bother me to have limited amount, less amount of hearts, but not being able to use all my energy, not being able to um, uh, perform whatever action we're performing as long. That gets kind of annoying. Iron Shroom take you and where is again where can i where can a man cook here I'm not gonna remember is there a cook thing in here place your bets oh hey you can bet love those little uh treasure chest games those are really fun what's up dude can i milk ya i wonder if you can milk those things or not what you can do with those take a picture of it take a portrait here we go here we go hmm Wait, where do you no okay there we go light this sucker up yeah i know you're scared be scared. They're like, did you just? It's not that they were scared. They were ex They were just like, ugh. they're, uh, you know, just impressed that I could light that with an arrow and not use like a torch. I guess. They're like, shit, we could have been doing that this whole time. Uh, also, let's switch. We gotta put on some more beach vibe clothes, man. Which is Zora shit, I guess. I guess. Zora shit with <laughs> that tunic. Um, yeah, let's do Zora stuff for now. I think that's kind of fitting. Closest thing to a bathing suit, I, I, I guess. We're probably doing some swimming, so that makes sense. Um... Wait, wait, we don't want to sit by the fire. We just simply want to cook with it. Uh, so first thing we'll do is just do like um, some single hearty mushroom. They really need to make it so you can bulk cook shit. Bet they'll alleviate that problem in um, uh, BO BOT dubs too. Battle two. Let's actually do hardy Dorans. I have more of these. <laughs> and it does plus four rather than 
plus three, so that's cool. What if we did one of those? Should I add something else to it? Like, what if we did that plus like salt or something? Is that is that does that do anything? Are we gonna do anything with that? Need some butter? What if we do butter? Oh shit! I'm down to experiment. <laughs> Same shit. Not even anything increased, so. Uh, wrong. Well, that. I still I do want to try salt, though. I want to try. How about a, a bird egg? Where's the salts and stuff? Goron spice. I forget all about the cooking. This is why I usually just do one, one item. To increase, like, for full heart. I mean, it gives full heart recovery. Um, where's, like, the salt? Is it just rock? It's just rock salt. That's what it is. I'm looking for the wrong thing. Yeah, rock salt. <laughs> nah, same shit. Okay. So then we're just gonna use... We're just... Just do a few of these. Yeah, give me like why can't I can't just be able to cook five of these at once? Uh, also probably could do this not on the stream, but you know what's a summer cookout? You know, a summer cookout, you know. It fit, fits the vibe. Do some like cool shots while we're Whoa. Uh, how many do we have now? Okay, I'm comfortable with that many. I forget how many more pieces of food we can cook. Let's do a couple stamina. Um, Endura carrot. Is this the one that'll give us... Just a single carrot to cook. Oh uh, yeah, it's perfect. That is perfect. Again, you cook one of these things. Uh, full recovery of your stamina, plus a little bit more. Very economic and effective. I would say. Your man says. Your man would say. I can I think it'll open up one more spot in my inventory a whole nother page I think you get two pages of cooked food or you only get the one I forget we will find out uh, stay tuned and now we want uh, now we want um, some nice some nice shroomies. Shroom plus two salts. Three shroom plus two salts. Is that going to be a good mix? Apparently not. I mean, it's not bad. Two. Fuck it. Do five then. Whoops. Ah. Do three of those. I think if you mix, let's see, where's those crabs? Iron shell crabs. That should be okay. Yeah, there we go. Four. Four minutes. Well, each battle is usually like a four minute thing, so that's fine. Mm, let's do a salt. We do three shrooms, one salt. Uh, plus an iron shell crab. Not as special. 
Didn't make a special song. No, but isn't that is that better or worse? It's the same? Is that the same? So this one increases more hearts, but this one is increasing slightly more duration of the defense buff. Interesting. Uh, how about four shroom a plus one crab? God, imagine having, imagine, imagine the amount of combinations there are. You can cook every single one of these foods uh, mixed together. It's got to be gnarly. I'm also kind of like running out of defense stuff. Let's do, let's do, what if we do like three of those? Plus a couple of raw prime meats. It'd be like a mushroom and meat skewer. Probably. Ugh, and it's only a two fucking defense up. Bullshit. Okay, so what if we do... Some porridge. Three porridge and a couple iron shells. Not special. <laughs> Tough seafood skewer. Uh, what if we do two mushroom, one salt, one iron shell crab, and one armored porgy? Then what? Tell me then what, huh? Saying it's giving you the same shit, bro. Giving you the same shit. Um, I want to cook. Let's cook a couple because I know I have more inventory space. I was limiting the amount of uh, health things we took that we cooked. Um, let's do three of those actually. Because uh, I thought we had limited inventory space, but no, we got plenty. We got that other page that opened up now. Okay, I think that is enough for now. Definitely enough for this stream. You know what I mean? Um, let's sort this sucker. Nice. And... Uh, yeah, let's stick with that. And then I'll maybe I'll... I should have done... I actually meant to do that before I even jumped on the stream, so... I apologize. For having to deal with that. Those silly tasks... Um, and yeah, like I said, let's go do, let's sit, um, what time is it right now? 12 p.m. Gonna go up to Cape Calais. Um, let's sit, it's starting to rain. Oh no, shit. That means I can't sit by the fire, you son of a bitch. That's fine. This is what we have money for. And you know what? I like throwing my money around. Let's be... Let's be nice. These villagers could use some rain. Ooh. I like rain. What a weirdo. Rain is the worst. It makes me miss home. Where's home? I grew up in Gerudo Town. It's completely surrounded by a desert. It never rains in the desert. I thought it was neat at first, but now I'm pretty sick of the frequent rain. Well... Uh, good for you. Uh, what do you want me to tell you? Welcome. You must be tired. You want to stay? Oh, dude. We are definitely going to do the fluffy bed. I'm kind of rolling in the dough. So I'm fine. Let's go tonight, and then we're going to teleport right up to that, um, Cape Calais, uh, shrine. Get a good shot of Ventide. 9 p.m. Did you sleep well? Okay, I slept okay. Um, where is the moon? Let's see if I can spot the moon right now. Not seeing any hard shadows. So it's, well, one, there's no... Oof, the sunset probably looked gorgeous. Oh, there's that, like, monster dude over there. Um, yeah, let's 
just go up here so we can see. Good overview of the beach areas. Master mode. Master Mosi. Master mode. Mosi. Thank you. Thank you. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Okay. Ooh. Am I hearing I'm hearing a Am I hearing a dragon? No. Because we're not hearing a dragon. Okay, so the moon's coming up from this direction. I can see my shadow. Um, you can obviously see that nice reflection from the moon. I cannot tell if it's not risen above the horizon yet or if it's stuck behind those clouds. Or perhaps the lighting effect is completely off of set from where the moon's sprite actually is. That seems to happen. Oh, pfft. now we change direction. Now the moon, oh my god, okay. Perfect though, hang on, dude, this is what we wanted. Event tide, moon, get the moon in focus, please. Thank you. Ah, it's out of focus. Gotta like zzz, tilt down. Oof. And it's raining, that's kind of cool. Gotta like tilt down into the right composition before the focus shifts. Kind of bummed that it's raining though. Also, kind of bummed that the uh, direction of the moon completely switched on me. Oof. No, I got that corner of the land mass in the frame. Uh oh. Uh oh. I failed. I failed. Back up. Damn, I though I just wish That's such a bummer because I think I think the moon was like rising just over. Let me go back. I'm gonna go first of all, is there anywhere we can change the nice to be place to cook right here? Although I wouldn't be able to light it. Um I kinda wanna go reset it back to night again. And come back, and we'll stare directly in that direction. Because obviously the moon rose right there. It would have been real nice to have a giant moon just above the horizon. That's kind of what I was going for. I was hoping it was going to set um, over there, but but that didn't happen. Unfortunately. Oh, that moon's so gorgeous, dude. Funny, there's no like face. You think they would put like a little face on there just as like a little Easter egg for Majora's Mask? Like a similar type of face that the, uh, the moon had in Majora's, but I guess because that was technically a different universe, maybe that wouldn't make sense. I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, what time is it? 11 p.m. Let's wait for let's do sunrise here. Let's let let's let the uh let's let the moon rise and fall. Maybe we can do this shrine with the moon rise above it. Lanairu down there. Eh, I'll save it, but eh. Meh. <laughs> So we got going on around here. Anything cool? Got anything cool? Got some keys. Keys in the moon. Nope. Nope. Keys plus moon equals fun. Uh, 
you know I, what I like about it, that's kind of a cool shot only because the wing, the contour of, of its wings uh, are the same as the contour of the mountains behind it. That's kind of a cool thing, but it's a piece of shit shot. No. I'm trying to get like a shot of like close up of the keys. Here, what we can do is like get a good shot for the compendium of this movie. Take your bullets. Ah! Is that gonna be a compendium shot? Oh, it would have been so cool! But no, I like that other. We did that compendium shot on the stream too, but oh. Taking hits. <laughs> is that gonna be a? It is, but again, I'm not. This is what I was talking about. Like the composition for the compendium is just that central box, uh, and getting them to behave. Let's see. I'm gonna come down. How is this summer? It's. Wait for the sunrise, man. Get rid of Boko. God, the sun needs to be. It's like I'm. This is ass backwards. In terms of. Uh, ooh. Ooh, okay, that might be cool for the compendium. Ooh, I needed to tilt down a little bit. I still like that shot better though of the than the previous trying to get just a cool sh cool framing of the moon in there and the keys i'll replace it with that i, I take that that also could be a cool one. Ooh, maybe that's better is that better i like how his eye is red that means he's just about to do his little attack i want to say that fills the frame better than the last one so let's keep that Ooh, okay. Er, oh, that's gonna be a pretty nice. Ooh, I don't know, cause now he's riding the edge of the moon a little bit too much. Still keep that last one, I think. Yeah. Ow. Okay, again, it's like the same exact shot. Now I'll, I'll replace it with this one, though, because the moon is now in focus along with the keys, so I like that better. I do wish you could just choose if there was a depth of field or not. If it was just infinite or maximized. That's pretty cool. Do wish, again, I wish that the, uh, the moon was in focus, though. Better composition overall, I want to say. Uh, do wish the moon... Uh, ideally, I think... The moon would be... He would actually be perfectly centered in the frame, and the moon would be just above its eye. Um, I guess I'll still keep that last one. Although I like his pose on this one better, because you can see his wing. When they're doing that spin attack, their wings flatten out. They tabletop. Um, and you you don't see the actual face of the wing or the underside of the wing, and that actually doesn't feel as nice as when you can see the full form uh, of the wing. So I like I like this one better for the wing. I like this one better for the red eye and the moon. Uh, I keep doing with the good wings. Fuck it. Man, then maybe we can do some magic and get both. Whoop, blocking my frame. Also, wouldn't mind if there was, like, multiple keys filling in the void around the moon. That could be really cool. Uh, what's cool about this shot, though, is that because the moon is directly behind it, you do have that cool kind of, like, back backlight pop. Uh, backlight pop coming from behind him. Obviously, backlight. So, no, though. I'm going to save it just to see what this compendium shot would look like. That's a really cool compendium shot. Um, but the moon's not in there, so it's nowhere near as cool as that one. Durr. 
No, I know that's not gonna work. I just know it. Come on, get in my get in get in there. And then we gotta get back over to where um Ooh, okay, that is maybe gonna be cool. Eh, face it's very similar, but I still like this first one. Again, those wings are that's a perfect wing pose for that keys. No. No. And that one, I like that one. Oh, uh, maybe a little bit better. I like that we can see a little bit of that, that mountain range behind it now. Adding a little bit more depth. Stop hitting me. Oof, oof. Losing our chance. Oh no! Losing it. We're losing it. <sighs> losing it. No, no. One more. Give me one more vibe. Ah, uh, no, no. Ooh, dude. <gasps> that shot is just rad. And that should be pretty cool for the compendium too. Ooh. Yeah, I dig, I dig. I love the land, the look of the land. What's up, Gary? Uh, I love the look of that landscape. That's really rad. Uh, maybe we can get one more similar type of shot. Definitely gonna use that one. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Nah, still this one, right? Yeah, still that one for sure. Um, it's not a good shot of the actual keys itself. <laughs> to be honest, the one that we were keeping on that red eye, but... Um, the, the moon and that landscape behind it, that's a pretty cool shot too, but that's even worse. Just in terms of like knowing what that is because its orientation is, is weird because they're spinning. That's a cool shot too, though. And I mean, it's let's keep this one because the keys is completely in there. I like that, dude. I mean, they're both pretty sweet, but that one's even better. Um, God, that moon set looks really cool. All right, let's go get ready for sunrise over here, though. Sorry, keys. I got a date for the sunrise. No time to play. Fuck off. Not doing the shrine. Oh, goodness. Look at that sunrise. <sighs> Fucking gorgeous. I love that atmosphere coming off the ocean, too. That looks beautiful. <sighs> Ooh. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if the sun, we get a sun actually popping up. Where can I stand that's not going to fuck me over? Okay, let's pick a spot to stand. This is a good spot to stand. Let's pick this. Stay here. Okay. Um, let's check how our composition looks there. I could probably tilt up a little bit or zoom in. I could probably zoom in maybe a little bit too. Um, I can see the highlight, uh, the reflection from the sun on the water. So it looks like the sun's going to rise just above those two uh, islands in the background. Um, and that would be absolutely gorgeous. So let's, first of all, let's save that. Let's also delete some of these. Um, definitely keep the second one versus this first one here for now. And then all these key shots. Honestly, all these, I was just getting that for the comp, for the uh, compendium. So all these shots, I'm probably going to delete just for that reason. We can get a keys, keys in the moon. Not that difficult to uh, achieve. Um, that shot is pretty cool. I do like that shot too. Uh, but nah. 
I mean, I guess I'll, I'll keep it just so because we have the storyline of the fact that that was we were trying to do that. So we want to keep that one because that was our keeper. So we'll keep one. Delete that. Delete that. Delete that. Keys don't fit the prototype, dude. That's some. That is some. Uh, that is some Halloween type stuff, in my opinion. Delete that one. Um, it's off prototype. It's off prototype. Delete that one. Delete that one. Delete that one. Delete that one. Look at that high resolution eyeball. <laughs> uh, delete that one. Saving that one because it's cool. This one's interesting, but. Uh, moon over the shrine. No. Moonrise over event side. We'll, I'm going to keep one of these for now. Uh, it was just a bummer. It was raining. So I'm going to go back. I'll rest again until... Um, I'll rest one more time until nightfall. And then we'll do that moonrise again. Come on, son. Come on up, son. Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Dude, that's sweet. Perfect starburst with the freaking rad flare directed straight towards Eventide like that. And those beautiful, puffy, atmospheric uh, clouds just above the Look water. Yes, thank you, course. Paxmore, dude. That's a beautiful shot, dude. Let's see what the sun does, but I don't know how that's going to get I don't know how it's going to get much better. It's a little low contrast. I will say that. I wish there was a little bit more contrast. There's like a little bit of a muddiness going on along the water. The sun, everything above the horizon line looks great. I don't know if that's because of uh the flare, which that is what it would in real life um, you definitely induce a lower contrast look by including uh, lens flare in the shot. Um, I've actually had to do some interesting things in an, in an edit, specifically video edit, uh, where the shot goes from in flare and then we move out of the flare zone. And then between the time that the lens is just really getting hit with the light and you're losing contrast... I had to do a completely different um, uh, color edit than I did after and before you're in that contrast zone or that flare zone. Uh, I was actually very happy with that when I when I when I did that the first time. I was like, God, the shot is so cool, but as soon as the flare hits my lens, uh, I lose so much contrast. And then realizing that you can just have two separate um, two separate edits between those two two times. Anyway, kind of cool. Ranting too much. Love that shot. Let's see what the sun does. Again, I think my only issue here is that maybe a little bit of that one tiny island is getting lost with the flare. Maybe. But I really love that shot, man. I'm. Yeah, let's just see what happens, dude. See, you only have, you really only have those few seconds there before that starburst goes away. Paul, starbursts never go away. They're always, always available at your local retailer. Let's do maybe a wider shot now. That was absolutely beautiful, though. Perfect. Like, I could not have asked for a better sunrise like that that was so gorgeous now the sky is getting a little bit too blown out um so we're losing all the detail in the sky still looks pretty cool don't get me wrong it's just nowhere near as cool as that shot dude that first that first second was beautiful um 
Yeah, now it's just not gonna look. I'm interested to see. Let's just let's just wait a couple minutes though, and see if we can get. See now the fl now the flare is distracting because in my opinion, you don't have the light source in the frame as well, and when the flare doesn't isn't coming directly from the light source, that's when it starts to look a little distracting, in my opinion, at least for this shot, in my opinion. Especially when it's just those weird color blob uh, flare and not like hard pointed flares. <laughs> Although they mimicked real flare pretty pretty accurate. I mean that's a they got a pretty good system down there. I mean the clouds. Honestly, I like the clouds and the color in the sky like right here, but that's not on over the entire area that we want to shoot. Um, sunset also might be pretty cool over here. I think we tried to get sunset last time we were shooting at this location. Um, okay, anyway, I'm happy with that sunrise shot. Let's go back to the village and we'll, again, wait for night. There's probably somewhere close. It doesn't really matter, dude. It's like the... I teleport and time freezes. I don't know why it matters how the distance that these things are at. It doesn't, really doesn't. It does not at all. So my internet has been like not not uh not doing well recently like this whole week at around like 12 p.m. or like 1 p.m. every day the internet has just been cutting out and like I, there's nothing I can do I called called their internet provider <laughs> And there were, and that there's a known outage in our area. It's like intermittent uh, area of coverage is bad right now. It's like we're aware of this. Hi. Um, but I was like super stressed out at like 4 p.m. today. I was like, shit, the internet is not back up. Yeah, Todd, exactly. I'm gonna blame our boy Todd. I'm gonna do fluffy bit. I forget what the difference is. You like get an extra? Oh, you get extra stamina. I think is what it is. Okay, we're going to do night again, and this time, uh, we will stay, we will stay, um, oh. sleep well, a little treat for you staying with us. Please feel free to use the raft. Um, I'm going to stay, I won't fuck around, uh, looking for the moon. I'm going to assume it's going to come up in the direction it came up last night, but that might not be the case. I still, I, I, we got to do some more testing. It has, it might have something to do with just the direction I am facing, my character is facing when it starts to rise. I don't know. Because again, we look, we look for the shadow on the floor to determine where the light source is coming from, right? Right now, it's from the sun setting on that side of the map. Uh, but I had thought that that was the moon rising, the moon's light rising, and that had not been the case. So let's position ourselves where we want to be. I'm going to get as far this way as possible to try to get all those islands. I know it's not going to make too big of a difference at this distance, but as far this way as we can to hold the composition of all three of those elements in the frame. Um. Okay, okay, moonrise. Okay, Moony, let's check our composition really quick pan to the right just a tiny bit i think maybe tilt up a tiny tiny bit there she is dude come on up oh my god okay boom one right on the horizon and here's what we have to do i have to tilt up get that moon to focus because it, it's fallen out of focus and it does not look anywhere near as good if it's not in focus. Um, so I'm going to tilt up, get that moon in focus. Then I'll tilt back over. I'm going to have to change the composition real fast though. 
Come on, dude, focus. Damn, dude, it's so quick. Damn, I, I don't know if I'll be able to get it. Ooh. That's pretty gorgeous, though. I love it right... I love the moon right between those two islands. That's pretty cool. Wait, why am I getting an ad? Uh, well, if you're fighting a boss, sometimes uh, they'll, they'll throw more enemies at you during the battle. Um, and it just makes the battle more difficult, Paxmore. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know that was a real zinger. <laughs> I bet that was a real zinger. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm kind of bummed the moon isn't full right now. God, I can't get it to hold focus fat long enough. Almost, that was it, basically, but um, it's like you have to let it hold for like a second. Ah. That you know, it's funny is that the moonrise is not as cool as that sunrise was, in my opinion. That was, sunrise was, and I think that's just because the lighting on the islands maybe is not as great. Gotta get that to hold focus, and damn, it's so I don't want to include that rock in that bottom left corner, but I'm getting the moon in focus now. Just gotta pan to the right a little bit more. <sighs> nope. Damn, now the moon's too high. Moon's over my hammy. Oh, okay, now we lost it. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy with those, though. We got... We got... Uh, anyway, ads. Um, I might have switched something. Well, I get paid every time you see an ad, so you're doing me a favor. <laughs> I think I switched something with my ad settings, and uh, we'll talk about Let's talk about that. We'll discuss that at a later time. I don't want to futz around with it right now, because I don't know what it's going to do. But I did something. I did something wrong, probably. Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, Paxmore. Um, oh, God. That shot is so beautiful. With the moon. When the moon is held in focus. I really wish it was a full moon, though. It just doesn't feel as cool if the moon's not in focus. And this is the only one we got with it in focus. Uh, and the composition decent. But I got that little sliver of the rock on the bottom left corner. In this one, there's that weird rock in the bottom left corner. Um, in this one, the Aventide Island is just composed a little weird. And the horizon line's center punched in the frame. Um, so no on that one. I guess I'll save this one. I don't really like it when it's right on the horizon like that, actually. Um, definitely not this pre uh, moonrise shot. That's not going to be a keeper. It's definitely not going to be this one once the sun was up because we have that perfect. We have this perfect sunburst. Dude, that is such a great shot, bro. Um, so no on this one. Keep that. Definitely not this one either. So we'll keep that this first one. Um, I shouldn't be doing too much of a review. Let's do. Yeah, we'll keep we'll keep like all these moon shots and we'll look at those more in detail. We'll keep that sunrise. OK, Um and definitely not. Well, you know what? We'll keep this first attempt as well. I don't want to do too much of an edit right now. That's the point. Okay, so where do we want to go next? Like I said, that's a, that was our first. I just wanted to start on top of this point. One again because we we tried to get this shot before, uh, and it wasn't. It was not as as well done. Um. So coming up here to get it i think that was just a good first i think that was a good first again also we're overlooking uh, the beach which is where we want to shoot um so let's go 
And then, like I said, I think the good, I think the good method is going to be, let's start down, let's start down over here. Let's actually go, we'll start up here. And then we're going to work over the course of the summer. The, the, the purpose of starting on this side is that then we'll walk and we'll travel to all these spots just heading west across the coast or down the coast, up the coast, whatever it would be considered. Uh, and then we'll work our way up north along the coast here and shoot all this. And that's going to be our summer shooting scenario. Uh, and I think from here, this might be a great vantage point. Again, maybe a nice overall shot of this coast. Um, I'm not sure. This looks like a high point here, so hopefully we'll get, uh, we'll get a nice overview of the beach. Maybe catch a little bit more of that moon at some point. I'll get some water. Man, the chat is just going crazy tonight. Oof, look at that moon. Yes. Again, this does seem to be a very good vantage point. Oh, yeah. I remember this little zone. Well, that's cool. Hey, that's good to know that we got, we got a cooking pot there. That angry person. So if we want to come back here and change uh, change the time of day while we're on this side of the map, that's okay. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get to all the way over there. It's going to take us a while, so it'll probably not be night anymore by the time we get down there. Let's see. Wish there was kind of a closer spot to the coast to have uh, fast travel to, but... These big trees are rad. Probably do some of that at some point. Desert is a good summer thing too. A oh, golden Lionel chilling. Not today, golden Lionel. Sticking to the beach. What's that guy's got? Looks like he's got like a thunder storm wand. I don't want. I don't want to deal with you right now, pal. Although a, a shot above one of those guys while they're dancing in the air and getting his shadow on the ground that could be pretty cool all right screw uh, screw you guys i don't want to deal with all these guys stop it stop hitting me aha i'll ride up a can't ride up this mountain i will go up there and can't get me yeah can't get me oh no Electric keys. Oh, and it's getting all socked in. Oh, boy. Now oh, my real broad sword. Oh. Give me your arm. Ah, ah. Whoops. Master sword. In. Master sword that's not even fully charged. Take your arm. Take your arm. Take your fangs. Take your loot. Okay. got over here we got dancing wizard guy electrical wizard guy what are those guys called down there those guys are electric whiz robe is there only one type i guess so oh no no that's either the thunder or the electric whiz robe Wiz robe. They're wearing a robe. And they're wizards. They're whiz robes. Good to know. Um, what's all the way over here, though? 
Where does the mouth of this... mouth of this river open up, I wouldn't mind. Uh -oh. <laughs> you can't drop the master sword. Oh no! Oh no! My shield, dude! I'm gonna get that, bro. No! No! Better give me my shield back. Lose a guardian shield, man. Um, as I was saying, I think is there at the little river mouth here? No, 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 no. That's what I was looking at. There's over. That's over there. Looks like there'd be like an entrance to something right here on the map. Oh, you can't go. You can't go underwater in this game, huh? That's fine. Uh oh. Master Sword out of energy. Should have seen that coming when it said the Master Sword was low in energy, huh? Waste this Boko arm on this luminous stone. It's already da badly damaged. Uh, why are we wasting time uh, breaking rocks? Because it's fun. Sure, let's do a crusher on it. This thing's huge. You can't just pass by loot like that, though. You know what I mean? It's like... Okay, there's that whiz robe guy. Oh, wait, no. That's a... Holy goodness, it's a Korok. Let's get it. Why not? Hey. Hey, okay. You found me. I did. Oh, shit. I had 69 of them. Now I got 70. I got a Lizalfos. Ooh, let's do... Dude, okay. Come here, Lizalfos. Oh, look at that sunrise, dude. Come on out. Come on over here, bro. We love our Lizalfos. Let's get you. Let's get you right here, pal. Um, I'm gonna need you to do, like, a water spit attack at me. Mmm, I'll save that shot for now. Why not? It's not great, but... Um... And I don't like the spear that he's got. And as we have learned... Unfortunately, if I take the spear from him... He's not going to do his little water attack, which is like our equivalent of, um, nah. see that direction of attack is good when they're attacking like 45 degree angle away from the axis of the lens that ends up. Uh, looking, the weapon ends up looking great, um, but that's not a good shot. Other than that, oh god, why did it have to rain? Dude, that sunrise was gonna be gorgeous. Damn, dude, I guess that, I guess that Gerudo lady was right, man. It's like I used to think the rain was cool, but. Now I'm getting kind of sick of it. Now I am also getting kind of sick of it because it's like, what the fuck? This ain't no summer vibe. Um, wait, where are you going? Well, first of all, there's a treasure chest, so <laughs> we'll get that in a moment. But second of all, why are you leaving me, Los Alpos? Uh, I'm here to photograph you. Please, thank you. I just wanted to get him standing, like, right over these rocks. Kind of, like, overlooking this... Overlooking this beach. Some of those palm trees in the backdrop. I want him, like, right here. So we want to do maybe his jump down dive attack. Yep. Oof. 
sun's coming back out though so this could look epic if this guy behaves i just first of all does do i don't they have a little water squirt attack is it is it so much to ask that i want to get squirted on is it so much to ask um his weapon looks like shit though that's like the edge of the weapon pointing at me Here it goes. Oh, he did a tongue. Gotta start saving some of these so we got something to show for our work here. Come back up. Come back up. Damn, I wish I had a small sword that I could have thrown down and taken his spear. Or a Lazalfo's tri-boom. Tri-boomerang, giving him one of those. Come over here, dude. What do you, you need to be on top of these rocks to get this overview of this beautiful little beach. Thank you. Ugh! See, like, if he was holding a tri-boomerang, it wouldn't look as atrocious, that weapon. Just like, what the fuck is that that he's holding? You can't tell. That's why we gotta, again, have that 45 degree angle. Ow. Poke my eye out. You poke your eye out. Come on, dude. You poke your eye out with that thing. dude oh yeah okay a sick pose because he's holding that spear in the ground that's great i think he's going to be doing this for like another couple seconds so let me shift my composition i would love to look a little bit further down the shoreline but at the same time maintain the view on some of those palm trees along the left side of the frame and that beautiful mountainside uh and those those clouds being illuminated by the sun behind them so I'm gonna I'm gonna shift my position a little bit to camera left. I'm gonna pan a little bit to the right, maybe tilt up a tiny bit uh, to avoid getting too much of that rock that he's standing on in the frame. There's just gonna be a lot of negative space. The more of that I include. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Plan of action. Let's do it. Oh, but he pulled out. Fucking Lizalfos, dude. First of all, they won't squirt on me. Second of all, they're pulling out way too soon. And it's just a huge disappointment to me. That's all. I just can't be satisfied when those kind of things are happening. His pose here is actually would be fun if... Uh... If he wasn't holding that, that long shaft. He's got... He's standing on that rock with about six feet of his shaft in his hand. And I wish he had a Lizalfos Triboom. That's all. Uh, let's save that shot, too. And I did not even get to see any more of the coast because I think I miscalculated how much I needed to shift my position to get the coast in the frame. I'm stoked on that one shot, though, him holding the... Holding his uh, holding his shaft in the ground, just before he pulled out. Eh. Okay, I'm getting sick of this guy. This guy's kind of boring me. Let's, or let's well, first let's try. To, can he? Will we? Will he be able to kite over here? I think he. I'm like just on the edge of his jurisdiction. Plus, he did that dive attack. That's when that's when he's frozen for a moment, and we can kind of get 
Ooh, and a profile, a profile shot wouldn't be bad either because again, we just want to see the total length of his shaft uh, and the spear head at the same time. Um, not enough of a background there. Ow. That's what I'm. That's what I'm talking. That is a great uh, position for the spear. Great position. His pose looks great. I cropped his left hand out of the frame a little bit. Way too much of that rock face along the bottom of the frame. Bye bye. Uh, and we're kind of losing as I'm face tilting up. We're losing that beach vibe. Come over here, dude. I think you're still. I'm still within your jurisdiction here. Come on. Motherfucker, you're a Lazalfos. That's it. That's the shot, dude. There it is. Okay. Uh, my mom, my biggest gripe is that there's a little bit of that structure behind his head, kind of poking out from his uh, his horn. But beautiful, beautiful edge light uh, along his right side. That looks absolutely gorgeous. The clouds look okay. I probably could have tilted up a little bit more. We got the palm trees. Um, we got some sand. We got some blue beach. Uh, again, we're going for summer vibe. So it's got to be... The storyline has to be... Uh, water... Is it? I got to look at these guys' names. Let's save it really quick. And then... Also, can I just adjust? Hang on. Nah. Nope. Where you at? Where you at, fool? Oh! That shot could have been cool, too. Um, again, though, I want him perfectly posed with his entire body above the horizon, ideally, or at least from his chest up, above the horizon. Yeah, beach vibes, dude. Um, above the horizon... And not composed in front of any of those uh, background elements. I would love a clear view of all of those background elements. Right now, he's just kind of stacked up against that those rocks right there. Um, I'll keep it, though. i got to keep some of these again. Got to be able to have something to show for our day. That's a pretty cool shot, too. Should have tilted up needed to be tilted up to include the tip of that mountain in that top left corner which I very much was hoping for when the sun was back there just above those mountains the clouds looked really cool um, behind that mountain but of course the sun's right I, I do like the color here though better that that was when the, it was really socked in now we're getting a clearer sky which I would prefer that's more of the summer vibe so um, I guess I'll save that one too for now. How much room do we have? Six more shots. Give me a tongue, bro. Oh! That's not bad either, dude. And we got the full... There's like a little bit too much ground. There's a little too much like ground space. And I also wish his full shadow was held in the frame. Um, but look at that. The tongue. That's like a great timing on the tongue. Usually we're usually uh, the, the shots that we've got. The tongue is either too, re too far retracted already or it's too far extended and it's going beyond the edge of the frame, which feels a little strange. I like that we held the entirety of the tip of the tongue here. And there's a sweet color uh, shift happening with his tongue from the tip, which is like a yellow to a red in the middle, and then to like a magenta purple uh, right at his mouth. That's pretty cool. Only other bummer is that that tongue, as beautiful as it is, kind of obscuring uh, the beachside background that we're trying to include. Um, this actually would have been great had he been on the right side of the frame, going towards uh towards the water with his tongue like that uh that could have been really cool saving it still really cool 
Oh, wait, let's get him near the water. Let's do this now. You're gonna be like down here. It's even better, bro. Ah, damn. Oof, that would have been fun. but a bad angle on the weapon. And now that the shadow's getting very, uh, uh, very, very, uh, visible, or much more visible, I heard standing, it seems like it's standing out more probably because now we're on the sand and there's a lot more contrast between uh, his shadow and the actual sand itself. I would love the full shadow in the frame, which is going to be really tough to do without tilting down and avoiding, uh, cropping out that mountain that we love in the background. Those palm trees look great, though. Uh, bye on that shot, though. Bye-bye. Oh. I'm struggling down here. Let's put him more on the beach over here. So we can get him... Not too shabby. The color looks gorgeous now. This is what we're talking about. When we're talking about summer beach vibes. This is, this is about what we're looking for. Um, I'll save it. Oh, whoops, whoops. No, no. Oh, God. I would do anything if I could. Like, I would take any armor set that like reduced the amount of time you were like stunned. Oof, that shot's okay. He's a little bit far from the camera though. And now he's stacked up against the, uh, against that shrine. He's blocking the shrine. He's got a tree growing out of his head. Um, so let's say no on that. Ha, ah, damn, I wasn't. And I liked him kind of over here. And jump, do you stab attack it? Oh! That's pretty rad, dude. I like that pose. That's pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, he's, like, not really stabbing anything. It'd be cool if it looked like he was about to jab down onto something. But in terms of a pullout shot, I mean... That pose is cool, though. I love that. And he's not obscuring too much of the background. Save that shot, dude. I'm gonna have a lot of trouble going through these. There we go. That's pretty gorgeous. I like to. I like that we're getting. Um, that is like a little a Lazolfo structure, just over his right arm. So including a lot of that in the frame makes a lot of sense. I probably could have zoomed in here a little bit. There's a lot of peripheral area along the left side of the frame and the top. Um, that could be cropped out. The top top left L, ten percent could have been. Ch -ch -ch and would have held a little bit better. Uh, but that's fine. I'll keep that. And then I think am I full now? And we got two more shots. That's pretty good. Let's see if I can get... He's going to pull that thing out. Um, and then he's going to fling it up. So it's tilt up and be ready for that. Oh. Man, you have a very short period of time to get that when he pulls it out of the ground. A very short amount of time. Uh, no, I don't like that shot. These things out of the out of the frame. His weapon. Oh, 
Oh, I thought I was gonna miss me. I was walking, I was moving. There we go. Oh god, again, that could have been a great one. Tilted down a little bit too much. If I had tilted been tilted up a little more, we got in the, the tip of the spear. No. Here we go, here we go. Oh, no. No. That's not bad. Um, a shrine is getting, behind him, is getting a little lost from that tree cropping through it but that shrine's not a big part of the composition that's that's that is uh forgivable okay i think we got enough we got like a perfect shot of this guy let's stop being in my albums full perfect um do you like bombs how do you like dem bombs uh, and i'm not gonna leave this treasure chest just uh. Uh, you think I'd leave a treasure chest sitting behind? Oh, come on. Opal. Okay. I right, see this one too. I'm gonna grab that. I ain't gonna leave any croc behind. Uh, I'm not gonna leave any loot behind. Definitely not leaving unopened treasure chests sitting behind. I mean. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be a mosi. If I did that, it just wouldn't be a mosi. Hundred rupee. Hide by that for a dollar. Ooh, some party blue shell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh no. Um, hang on a second before we get involved with those fools, which I don't know how much time we're gonna spend on those guys. Um, but we do need to. Edit a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, this shot shit. Bye. I don't want to edit too much because, again, we want to leave... We want to be doing more detailed explanations. Uh, leave those for the next stream. Um, this shot, no. Again, this... Although, this is where the clouds uh, illuminated uh, from the, the backlit, backlit situation from the sun. That looks really cool. That silhouette of the mountain above him that does look really cool but it's his 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 spears cropping out of the frame his composition was a little too centered um i like that shot of the pose with him in the uh still with the spear stuck in the ground this one again spear out of the out of the frame no i'm gonna just kind of delete the obvious ones that have glaring issues um these two are okay. I do, again, I wish. No, see those two. This one's definitely the better of the compositions at from basically this angle. I want to say I love this one. He's close up to the camera. You can fully see the spear. The spear feels very menacing because it's, we can, it's like oh, I can see the razor's edge on that thing. How sharp is that? I wouldn't want to get. Oh, don't stab me with that. That's kind of the vibe that most people are going to say when they see that photo. Uh, so these ones, these two are kind of irrelevant because this it's like a, this is the best shot of that type. So we'll delete these two. Um, keep the tongue shot because it's a beautiful tongue shot. Delete that one. Dude, I knew the beaches were going to be just, like, jammed full of cool content stuff. Um, here, he's just, like, a little bit too far away from the camera, and there's a lot of trees growing out of his head. Um, I do like the view of their of the little Azolfos huts uh, along, along the right side there. That looks great. But that this shot's even better for that same reason, and it's the same pose. And the composition is much stronger in general. So let's keep that one. Keep Delete that one. Um, what else is like obvious? We got this little portrait of this Islander guy. 
eh, it's like, eh, you know, it's all right. It's okay. I like that we I put them right in the uh, in the void of those palm trees. I would have been uh, lower to the ground, could I have been, but that's not possible because there's no there's no way to change my position, my height position, outside of actually going to a depression in the ground or on top of an object above uh, whatever it is we're trying to shoot. So let's delete that one. That's not that great. Um, okay, this key shot. Uh, I guess I got to keep that. I got to keep that key shot. Um... I'm definitely going to choose between these two. I don't know. One of them has the... One of them has, like, that rock face on the bottom left corner kind of sneaking in. But this one, the moon is in focus. This one, we crop that rock face out. But the moon is out of focus. Although, I guess these two are similar enough. I do like the atmosphere on the water better in the second one. And we have that glint from the moon. Is it because I guess it takes a second for that moon's uh, reflection on the water? Uh, definitely between these two, though. The one with the, the moon's reflection on the water. So I'll delete this one because those are similar enough. That's easy choice. I just don't want to have to choose between all these right now. Well, this one, the islands in that top left, this one feels a little off. This one feels a little off just because the islands on the top left are getting a little bit close to the edge of the frame. There's a lot of uh, room along the bottom edge of the frame with nothing happening. Um, and I, uh, this one's like close to the horizon, but I would prefer... If it's going to be this type of shot, this one has a better composition, and the moon is just peeking over uh, the water. So I'll, I'll take that versus this one where it's just barely risen, and again, composition is not that strong. So let's just keep that one deleted. Um, this one, the Lizolfo, this is not the best spear in the ground shot for the Lizolfo. Let's just delete that. And then that should clear up enough room... Actually, here, right, we can delete this one, too. I did like this shot uh, of this uh, Moblin with the Death Mountain lava flow. That's like the very peak of Death Mountain and the lava flowing from the peak uh, with this Moblin standing over us, about to smack us with that with that uh, hammer. But we'll delete this one. That's not the best one in the world. Um... And let's just let's just go from there, man. How many do we got? Okay, now we have eleven pictures. Do I want to fuck around with these guys? Well, now they're squirting me. I like, you know, I like getting squirted. Fuck! How do I avoid getting hit though? I just gotta move faster along the side. What's the weather? No, dude. Go away, rain. No, bro. Bro, come on. Ah. Ew. No. Yuck. It's kind of bullshit. Um. Damn, dude, we lost that beautiful blue sky. We lost the beautiful clouds. The, the water looks like shit now because it's all gray. Um, pop my Master Sword back on so we don't have a giant thing on our back that might get in the shadow and look weird. I don't know. I don't really want to. Maybe we'll mess with these guys. I'm getting I'm getting close to when I wanted to end the stream anyway, so. Maybe. 
grab all these arrows. Maybe what we do is save these guys for the beginning of the next stream. That might be the smart idea. Um, yeah, let's save these guys for the beginning of the next stream. Because this, this whole this area right here, this whole area right here, first of all, there's a Korok right here. Let's, I can grab that real quick. Whip, whip, whip. Why not? We're here, you know. Um, no, 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 no. You guys can, you guys just go about your business. Let's leave me alone for now. Leave me alone. Uh, what time is it? 2 p.m. So also at the beginning of next year, we can try to get some cool moonrise shots over here. And then I do, I we're going to definitely need to explore. Ugh, look at Death Mountain over there in the background. So cool. Something really cool about uh, a beachscape with a volcano in the background. Look at these little blue heron, blue winged herons chilling in the storm with Death Mountain in the background. Should I get them composed on the sand? I thought you said you weren't going to shoot anymore. I know, but that, you know what? When you see an opportunity present itself like that, what do you want me to do? Um. Yeah, we'll futz around with this whole area next time. Holy goodness. Yeah, dude, the beach areas. This is this is going to be a fun summer, bro. We're going to have a lot of fun. These beaches are going to present such gorgeous opportunities to shoot. I'm going to love getting this, this rock arch. That's going to be a pretty big element to fuck around with. Let's just do a quick scout. The weather's shit right now anyway. Um, we're going to want to wait out this storm at the beginning of the next stream. So I might as well just do a little scout over here. I'm loving this raft right here. Loving this rock arch. That's absolutely gorgeous. And the moon should be rising over here somewhere. So we might be able to get like this rock arch and the moon peering through it or above it or something. We'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. Yeah, this whole little spot right here, this will be a pretty fun, fun zone. The fun zone. Um, but we covered, we did get Lavera Beach. Uh, we got some shots over at Lavara Beach and then we'll get some shots in this area and then we're gonna like i said work our way we're just gonna work our way down the coast for the rest of the summer man gonna be fun um okay uh obligatory self-portrait bummer it's gonna be raining but whatever okay let's do like a summer vibes with some palm trees in the background the beach summer photography having a blast uh-oh. Summer photography happens so fast. Uh-oh. No! Wait, I like that. Ah! Okay, that's great. I'm about to get hit with the... Uh, Link ass to be squirted upon, and there he goes. Um, That's a great obligatory self-portrait. Um, okay, we'll deal with these fools... Go away, dude. I don't wanna. I don't wanna deal with you. Oh shit. Also, I've not saved at all. Let me save right now, real quick. Um. Yeah, we don't need to futz around with those guys. Okay. Uh, we're getting to the beautiful time, so let's save that for the beginning of the next stream. Okay. Obligatory self-portrait. Check. Uh, kind of a funny one. Kind of a funny one. About to get squirted on by those Lizalfos. Uh, a little blue-winged heron in the sand. Uh, with a little bit of Death Mountain popping over the, the mountains in that background. Very nice. Awesome little... Wait, which of the Zolfos are these called? This is what we were going to look up, and I did not remember to. But I'm remembering it now. Blue... It's just blue Lizalfos. Okay. I was like, is it like... God, there's a lot of Lizalfos. Holy shit. 
I didn't realize how many there were. I thought they were going to be like water Lizalfos or something, but just seeing as they have some their elemental type. Um, but it looks like they only have fire, ice, and electric in terms of uh, different elementals. Although blue, I mean, they, they seem like water ish i guess i swear every of other lizalfos other than the style lizalfos they all shoot water i think is the thing so i guess calling one of them water lizalfos um maybe doesn't make sense i don't know but yeah definitely blue lizalfos blue lizalfos shoot went a very nice got some pretty cool shots love that tongue shot love these shots of him pulling the spear out uh, we'll have fun trying to decide which one of those to keep if we keep any of them. Might keep one. Might keep one of those. Uh, then we got beautiful moonshot over Eventide Island. And what are those other islands called? I don't think those even have names because they're out of the bounds of the game. They're just like background design. Um... Let's call them Event Tide Island Miners or something. Event Tide Major is the big one, and then those other ones are the Event Tide uh, Minor and Mini. Event Tide Major, Event Tide Minor, and Event Tide Mini. Does that make sense? I think so. Um, so. The greater Aventide Islands area. Moonrise over that. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then, of course, Sunrise over Aventide Island and Aventide Island Minor and Mini. Beautiful. Love that shot of the sunrise. Uh, did our keys and the moon shot for the compendium. That was great. And then we tried, again, the first attempt, we got a, a shot of Ventide Island with the moon rising above at night. Or, of course, at night. When it's raining, though. This shot actually is pretty shit. But I'll just use it as a basis of comparison for the other ones when we do the big review. Because there's a lot of issues with this shot. Uh, composition is not the best. The moon doesn't look great. There's pretty much no texture to the sky or the water. Um, the rain, I think, is really what's what's ruining it because there's just too many clouds uh, to see any detail. Uh, and it kind of gives you an overall muddy, uh, low-contrast look when it's, when it's raining. So that kind of ruined things. And I'll, I'll go over the slight differences between those shots um, next time. Uh, so what was the pro snap pick of the day here? I can almost immediately say it's going to be the sunrise. It's going to be the sunrise over event tide. I really do love that shot. Um, the moon, it's funny. The moon just does not, does not do it for me as much. It's great. Don't get me wrong. But that shot is just so cool. Harley's classroom. Hey, hey, Harley. How you doing? We were just wrapping up. I'm sorry I will be saying hi and bailing, but we're doing our final image review uh, for the day. But if you want to see a quick uh, review of what we shot, we did a moonrise over Eventide, shot this little moon moon set with the keys, and we ended up using that for the compendium shot for our keys photo. Uh, which is a really fun thing to try to achieve when we get these photos. Uh, where is that keys, man? I want to I see that. Yeah, there it is. Pretty cool shot for the compendium, though. I like that. Thank you. Hey, this guy, thank you very much for the follow. Wait a minute, dude. Um, thank you very much. Making my night. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the dark room. Appreciate the follow. I really, really do. You're making my night here. Um, uh... This was a cool compendium shot. I'm pretty proud of that. I like that the keys is held completely within the box. Plus, we have the landscape in the moon setting just above over the hills. Absolutely gorgeous. 
Um, the one bummer is that the focus fell off and the moon lost focus. The keys is sideways. I would have preferred the keys to have been a little bit more uh, oriented, uh, proper orientation to the horizon. Um, and then if its wings were spread out a little bit better, it would have been fine. I'll have to catch you next stream. Yes, please. Do, I mean, please do. Tomorrow I'll be streaming, uh, but it's going to be Fallout 76 uh, photography and Fallout 76. A little bit different than, than, than Zelda, but uh, still exciting, okay? Still very exciting. Uh, but yeah, quick review. Since you just showed up, I'll do a quick review. Um, got that sweet shot for the compendium. The, the Pro Snap pick of the day, uh, the best shot we got, or my favorite shot of the stream, was this sunrise shot over Aventide Island and Aventide Island Minor and Mini, as we have now decided they are going to be called. Um, and I'm sorry if you were already watching and you saw all this. <laughs> and now I want to redo it because I thought I was like, oh, new person. Well, check it out. Um, love that shot. That's my favorite shot of the day. You can just fix that in post. Yeah, okay. I've talked, first of all, I talked about editing these. And I have planned on doing a stream where I do take the images from the game. And this game, I cannot export the images very well. I won't get into the details about that because it's, it's too much to explain and we'll do that the day um, that I actually end up editing. But I, I can I want to try to make adjustments and see what we can get away with. I doubt we're going to be able to do much more than just like a little bit of contrast and maybe an exposure adjustment, you know. Um, absolutely love it. And then we uh, came back for the moon rise shot, which I did not like. I mean, y'all know I love the moon and my moon shots, but it just, I think because of the low contrast look and the fact that the moon did fall out of focus, we were trying to do, and I did hold it, I hold the focus on this shot, but then the composition really suffered because the focus is set wherever the center of the frame is generally. So we had to tilt up, get the camera to autofocus on the moon, or at least it, it extends the depth of field rather to the entirety of the image and then coming back down. Uh, if you can shoot with uh, the switch button, it's super easy. Yeah, you can, yes, uh, believe me, we talked about all of this. And yeah, I, I know I can do um, the screen capture, but still, that is a screen capture of this full menu. This isn't the full frame. If I could, if I could click on the image and do a full screen, it would help out a lot. And if the full screen didn't have the uh, Sheikah slate distortion going on, it would have been absolutely amazing to export these. But the only choice I have is uh, recording the video feed of this menu or taking, I don't know, I actually should check. One thing we're gonna check is like how compressed that still image that we take with the switch is compared to recording the video feed with my external recorder and grabbing one of those still frames. I'm curious to see if there's a, if there's a difference in quality. Uh, and what we theorized on was shooting a video of this uh, screen, letting all the distortion roll through because there are breaks in the distortion. It's not eliminated completely, but there are better zones, uh, lines across during certain moments of that distortion flow. Um, and I could cut the slices through each one of the zones until I have the full scan of the image and add those together for a, a distortion free version. But that sounds, I mean, that's nonsense to have to do that much. Um, I mean, I'm still going to, I'm still going to futz around and try it. Um, but again, I mean, this, we could try the same thing with, with the, uh, uh, the still capture. You are absolutely correct. And maybe we will, again, we're going to play around with that. Um, during like an edit stream. I think maybe we'll do uh, an edit stream where we, we literally futz around with all of those parameters and see what we can come up with. It's just such a bummer. One big thing, um, and I, if, if you're new, you might not have heard me say this, but what we're working on when we're shooting here in the game is building everything we want to say about photography in this game. And eventually uh, we will have a full-fledged breakdown of photography in Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's kind of one of the big things we're working on every time we're streaming and all these pictures uh, will end up what we use uh, to demonstrate what we've captured in this game with the photography contained within. 
um, which I'll get to it in a second. I'll, I'll, I'm going to do my socialist, uh, my socialist rant, uh, the, uh, the social uh, uh, links in a second. And uh, all those videos, the videos that we're talking about, the photography in video, those will end up on the YouTube page eventually. Uh, this game is a lot, though. This is, I, this is one of my favorite games to shoot in. So I'm building that video uh, for a much longer period of time than some of the other games that we're going to do photography in. For instance, I have quoted that Spelunky is going to be the first game that I'm going to do a photography in Spelunky video because that game is pretty simple to break down um, and I have a lot of experience with it. Uh, so that will be first. But this game will, will definitely end up on there eventually, photography in Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, and then we did this little Lizalfo shoot at what beach was this? This is La Vera Beach. We came over to La Vera Beach. We're starting the summer on this side of the coast, and we're going to work our way all the way down the coast, up the coast um, for the remainder of the summer, trying to get summer vibe seaside shooting done. Uh, but then we got this beaut this blue blue Lizalfos. Uh, doing its thing over here on La Vera Isle, La Vera Beach some pretty sweet shots i'm not going to break these down usually at the beginning of a stream um i'll break down each photo that we've taken i'll, I'll vet these i'll edit and we'll probably only keep one or two uh definitely going to be keeping the sunrise over uh ventide though love that shot maybe one of the moon shots as well maybe one of the Zolfo shots um but again that heavy edit we'll do at the beginning of the stream next time um so yeah, pick of the day again, uh, sunrise over Ventide. And uh, yeah, that is uh, pretty much, that's pretty much it. That was all I was going to do tonight. I'm so sorry, Harley, you're coming in late. You know, it's funny, it, it, that does seem to be the case. And I'm curious, do you mind me asking what time zone you're in at least? I'm sorry if that's a, I know I don't want to dox anybody, but. I'm just always curious if like people end up popping in on the stream last minute because at 10 p.m. I'm at 10 p.m. here in California, and it does seem like people pop up uh, late. But anyway, if you want to answer that question, you're welcome to. Obviously, do not feel obligated. I very much appreciate the follow, though. Um, anyway, that's it for tonight. Uh, hope that was fun and exciting and uh eventful enough to be fun um i think we got some pretty cool stuff we're kicking off the summer right uh as i've been talking about we did want to stick with summer vibes for the remainder of uh the summer months here uh and i think we did i think we did a pretty pretty good kickoff today um shooting a little bit here in zelda uh, and like I said, we're going to continue for the rest of the summer, heading down all those beaches, shooting, shooting all the coastal areas of the game, shooting that, uh, Loreline village is going to be a nice, uh, photo shoot. Uh, when, when we get over there, I don't know when we're, when we're going to end up shooting that, but I do really want to get that, uh, get that area shot. Um, and I think there's, there's probably so much, there's so much coastal area. I don't know if we'll even get to the far end by the end of, of the real summer. I don't know what uh, uh, what that's going to be like, but we'll figure it out as we go. We can always jump around. If, if there's like a whole section that's boring or whatever, we're not going to shoot over there. So maybe it won't take as long as, as I would think, but just seeing how long we spent at this one little area um, and then looking at the rest of the, the coast that we have to go down um, I guesstimate that it'll probably be plenty of plenty of uh, shooting possibilities and we will not be lacking anything. Um, I will be back again and again, like I said, uh, Friday for Photography Friday tomorrow in Fallout 76. Uh, so if you're obviously around and available, come check that out. Um, and let's do socials. Am I spelling it right this time? Yeah. Um, as I was saying, YouTube does contain, uh, so salt, man, hope you caught, dude. We got some good stuff today. Salt, man. I hope you, uh, hope you saw some of that go down. Um, but I'll go, I will do the review next time. You'll see. We got some, got some really cool stuff. Um, YouTube is, uh, where all these streams will end up, uh, for, for on-demand viewing pleasure. 
as well as like I was saying, the in-depth detailed photography in Zelda Breath of the Wild video. That'll end up on YouTube when we're ready to put that up. Uh, along with all the all the other photography uh, based videos that we're working on. I have a lot of I have a lot of things planned and I know it's been kind of like a slow upstart and I've been talking about a lot of this stuff for a long time, but it is on it is in the works. It is on the way. I'm just doing baby steps here. Uh, Instagram is mostly where we're po posting uh, real photos. We do also have real photo shoots in the studio, in our little darkroom studio here every once in a while. I know I haven't done any of those for a while. I say this every single time. Those are in the works as well, I promise. Uh, like I said, the first few that we did, all beta, all beta, trying to figure out what the best way to operate in this limited amount of space that we have uh, and then what kind of photos actually work do uh, you know work well in that format so uh, working on planning more of that uh, but we'll also do some Instagram uh, video game posting eventually probably if I do stuff on Instagram um, what it would be is like the best of uh, type of type of portfolio or something like that like maybe I'll do the best of uh, the first year of us shooting in Zelda or something like that uh, again, though, I cannot export these in a very high quality fashion, so I'm going to have to test out and see what it ends up looking like exporting from this game um, and trying to upload it anywhere. I don't know how those are going to look because we haven't done that yet. Um, Twitter has just been alerts for when we go live, although I think I, that's disconnected because I couldn't get it to reconnect after I uh, changed my password on Twitch and then that disconnected me from having the Twitter set up, so that's not doing anything right now, but... Um, outside of alerts for him to go live, maybe I'll throw up some photographic musings at some point. Uh, and Patreon, if you want to support the channel, help the darkroom grow a little bit. Uh, any support on Patreon is much appreciated. But right now, the best thing you can do if you want to help support the stream, follow the stream, come hang out, um, have fun, take photos, take photos with us. Um, if you also did take any awesome photos of your own, in game or out of game, um, got a pretty amazing group of people over on the Discord, uh, and we all, all would love to see uh, any work that you create, especially in game photography stuff, uh, since that's kind of our main deal. Uh, what we call photography, obviously. Um, so check that out if you're interested. Uh, otherwise, that's all I got for tonight, and so I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their evening. Um, as always, take care, take pictures, and don't lose your dinosaur. I will be back tomorrow, like I said, for Photography Friday, 7.30 p.m. PT. Um, thank you all for coming to hang out. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate y'all. Love you all. Appreciate you all. Thank you all. I'm going to throw a snack your way before I really bounce. Snack you. Snack you all. Really appreciate it, dudes. And thanks again, uh, uh, Harley, for, for popping in. I really appreciate that. Really making my night. Thank you very, very much. Peace. Oh, wait. Let's do one more re beautiful redemption. We gotta do... This is to Harley. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good night, all. Peace.